Welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're making smoked salmon, so y'all stay tuned. All right, well, we're going to start this uh, process off with the dry brine. So let's show you how we uh, make the dry brine. It's pretty simple. In a large bowl, you just have uh, two, two, two and a half tablespoons of coarse of kosher sea salt. To that, we're going to add, oh, about a, I would say a good cup of brown sugar. Um, and then we're going to mix the two together. Break up any lumps that you have in here. And that brown sugar, make sure it's all incorporated well with the salt. Just crush those big lumps up. Okay, well, this, this guy we're doing here today, he's a, uh, according to the sign, he is a Arctic Keto wild caught salmon. I don't think it's really that important what kind of salmon it is, and I know there's different types of, and they all have different flavors, but uh, I think the most important thing is this wild caught. Hey, and if you guys uh, are out there where these, these critters roam and you can catch them yourself, uh, when you fillet them, leave the scales on them. Uh, here we didn't have any choice, but we do still have the skin on, and that's important. You see, it, it's still got the skin on there. Okay? So, uh, it doesn't work as well with the uh, ones that are de-skinned. So, if, if they have them in the case that are already skinned, I'll ask your, uh, your fishmonger or your local grocer to uh, get you one that, that still has the skin on it works much better. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start our brining process. We're just going to move this. We've got him, uh, we rinsed him off, dried him a little bit. We're going to take about a third of our our brine, dry brine mix, and we're just going to spread that out in a layer on the bottom of our pan. Um, I got this recipe um, years ago from uh, some folks out in British Columbia that uh, have a very very famous brand of British Columbian smoked salmon. So on the bottom uh, we're just going to put just our brine. Now on top we have uh, here some ground peppers, ground black pepper with some ground uh, smoked hatch chili. Use whatever seasoning you like here. Um, we're going to give this a shot. And then, uh, this is very important, don't leave this step out. This is a couple, about four fronds of fresh uh, dill, dill weed. And this is the magic, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that all over the top of them. Kind of pat it into the surface. Uh, we chop that just uh, roughly and kind of start releasing some of its flavors. Smells awesome. I'm going to go ahead and just put the rest of our dry brine right on top of it. I'm going to spread that out evenly all over, all over the fish, just a small layer of it. Like I said, it make a little bit more of this if you're doing the whole filet. Um, but just like with doing any other kind of a barbecue, this is going to kind of be a, not a rub, but a, a brine, but it's dry. We don't want to really, we want to dry brine this, not wet brine it, because it would just get, uh, it would absorb a lot of the water and get mushy and that defeats what we're, we're trying to get this fish to firm up. And I did use the thick end of the filet for smoking. It does work better than the thin end. Take that thin end and go ahead and grill that and eat it fresh. But, uh, and this is going to be for fresh smoked salmon, not, um, you know, a smoked salmon you want to leave laying around, especially if you live in Florida. But there we go, and now we're going to stick them back in the fridge and uh, let them hang out for at least a couple hours. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make our sauce for the salmon now. Uh, it's it's brining, but this is something that needs to uh, meld together for a while. We're going to start out with a um, about I would say four tablespoons of a good good mayo. Use your favorite. Uh, next is going to be about a teaspoon of sriracha. If you don't like hot, leave this out. We get a beautiful color. About a tablespoon of Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Really, really good squeeze of about half of a lime in there. Just make sure you don't get any 
seeds. And then um, another tablespoon of fresh, finely chopped dill. For some reason dill really goes well with this. I'm just kind of blend all that together. Looks beautiful, so let's go ahead and give it a taste. Really good. Just needs a little bit of salt. Kind of knock that edge off that line. Another whisk. Cover this with uh, some wrap, put it in the refrigerator, and let it chill out until we're ready. Okay, folks, it's been a couple hours now. You see all this fluid that's come out of this uh, piece of salmon here. And that is much firmer now. So we're going to take this guy inside, rinse him off. We want to get all this sugar, salt, and, and dill off him. It's already got as much as it's going to take. And we'll get ready to put them on a smoker. Alright boys and girls. Did the cue here. We're set at 231. Spy. Go ahead and crack this baby up. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, just to make sure the skin doesn't uh, stick. We got an oil paper towel here. Go ahead and wipe those grill down. I grab our uh, go ahead and grab our big old nicely cured salmon filet. Right in the middle. Let's cover up. I should mention we didn't put any kind of uh, wood on here just the uh, charcoal we got stubs and we use a little bit of Kingsford to get it going uh, that's going to be plenty it's very very easy to over smoke uh, the salmon so let's not uh, take that chance I, you know do what you like but here we're going to go the you know natural charcoal smoke only I think that's going to be best for most people Okay, we're gonna go in. It's been about an hour and 45 minutes, and you can see this guy. He's starting to um, extrude some of the moisture out of him. And if you're gonna eat this for fresh, fresh salmon, and you know you're gonna eat it right now, this is the time uh, you want to take it. So we're gonna go ahead and take him off. Cause we're eating this guy tonight. Now, if you're doing uh, salmon to store for long term, uh, you want to wait till all these uh, these little bits here are completely dry. But for right now, that's cooked, uh, ready to eat for today, and it's going to be delicious, guaranteed. Hey guys, well it's time to plate this up. Well, we're going to go here and get some of the most beautiful smoked salmon. Get a nice little uh, portion of that. And it's okay to leave the skin on this. That is very, very rich and probably more than anyone can eat right there. Okay, we've done a, a nice mushroom risotto. Put that right there. And uh, perfect uh, complement to that will be some fresh asparagus spears. Just saute those up real quick with a little olive oil and butter. And then the sauce will be made back on the, uh, the video. I'm just going to give that just a little chisel right across the top. And this is actually also very good on the asparagus. So we'll give that a little uh, drizzle. 
around there and around the plate. It's awesome. So there you have it. This is smoked salmon with mushroom risotto and uh, some sautéed asparagus. for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. Please comment, share, subscribe. Hey, hit that like button. If you like what we're doing, we'll keep making them. We'll see you next time.